Close by Christchurch International Airport, a modest collection of steel sheds house a world-renowned road research facility owned and operated by the New Zealand Transport Agency. The Canterbury Accelerated Pavement Testing Indoor Facility, or CAPTIV for short. For 30 years, a unique testing machine, designed and built in Christchurch, has been subjecting a series of road pavement designs to repetitive axle loadings that accelerate 20 years of normal wear into mere months of real time. Sophisticated data systems control and measure pavement and vehicle performance throughout the life of the pavement. The testing machine, known as Slave, consists of two radial arms 9 metres long, attached to two test vehicles that faithfully replicate the driving axles of a heavy vehicle. Axle loads can vary from 4 to 12 tonnes, and at 50 kilometres an hour, over 20,000 cycles can be applied in 24 hours of unattended operation. The vehicles can operate in the same wheel path to double the loading rate or separate by one metre to compare different vehicle configurations. Pavements are constructed in an annular concrete tank, 1.5 metres deep, inside a steel building that isolates the test pavement from groundwater and rainwater. Water can be applied in a measured amount when required. This video will show the construction of an innovative base course specification called HiLab on a carefully prepared soft clay and sand base. HiLab is only the current project. Other projects may use different materials or look at different aspects of design, for example, waterproofing. Construction is carried out by captive staff and contractors using standard construction equipment and techniques appropriate to the scale of the operation. The high lab material is trucked into the yard from the quarry where the various particle sizes and cement have been blended in a pug mill. The high lab is placed on the prepared base by loader in four segments around the 60 meter track. The segments have different design depths and maximum particle sizes. The material is spread then graded to level before being compacted by sheep's foot and steel drum rollers. Sensors have been placed in each segment at various depths and staff dig down to retrieve the topmost sensors and locate them in the high lab. The video shows strain coils being placed that will precisely measure the vertical and horizontal strains at each depth in the pavement as elastic strain under dynamic axle loads and as accumulated permanent strain while load cycles increase. An asphalt paver is squeezed into the test track and the crew places a thin wearing surface of AC10. This will be replaced later in the test by chip seal and open graded porous asphalt surfacing. The pavement stiffness is measured every meter by a falling weight deflectometer. Then, after slave has been put back on the track, stiffness is corroborated with a captive modified Benkelman beam that gives a digital readout of pavement deflection and distance as a slave vehicle rolls away. Staff control slave and the data capture devices in the pavement and on the rig from an elevated control room behind a strong wall. A series of calibration runs are made and transverse surface profiles are measured before pavement loading starts in earnest. Slave runs unattended, apart from routine inspections until the next testing interval. Various sensors on Slave will stop the machine and alert staff if there is a mechanical problem or if the pavement begins to break up. CCTV is available to check on the rig remotely. Captive allows the NZTA to refine materials and design specifications in months, rather than the decades field testing would require. This promotes curiosity about the boundaries of current knowledge and allows collaboration with industry in an environment where customers' outcomes and value for money are the focus.